Hi, today I'm going to talk about how you can make your own hyperelastic material model. It turns out that hyperelasticity is a kind of theory that you can make up your own hyperelastic models very easily. And if you do it carefully and think about it, you can actually come up with something really good. Today I'm going to talk about the BAM model, which is a model that developed that really works very well. So the idea here is that some hyperelastic models that I like, like the Aruda Boys model, the Gantt model, they're good, but they're not always great. So the question is, can we make a new model that is kind of based on these traditional models that is even better? And can we do it quickly? And uh, today I'm going to show you that we can do it. It's actually quite easy. So first, let's talk about the Aruda Boys 8-chain model. So here's some experimental data in uh, this uh, dashed line from Trelor, this natural rubber. So a large strain tension. I can calibrate, as you can see here, the Aruda Boys small very well to this data. It's very easy to do this using M calibration. Um, so this is all good. But the problem is, is if you have experimental data from different loading modes. So in this case, they have more data from Trelor. We have simple tension in red. We have ax biaxial tension in green. And pure shear is the blue. And when I try to match all of these uh, loading modes using the Aruda Boys model, it doesn't quite work. The reason for that is that the Aruda Boys model is only depending on the first invariant of the deformation. So the energy function is a little simplified because of that, and that makes it underpredicted by axial tension. So when I calibrate it, the model will uh, overpredict the uniaxial in order to compensate and be kind of like in the middle. Not so good. The average error is about 8.29% in this case. What can we do to improve this? Well, uh, here's the beauty of hyperelasticity. It's based on a, a scalar function, energy function. So we have an energy function WAB, the Ruda Boyce version. We need to add something to it to make it work even better for other loading modes. And we need something perhaps with I2 dependence because that's what's missing in the Ruda Boyce model. So the question is, what would we add? What, what can we do to improve this model a little bit? And the answer is, well, we can just add an Ogden model, particularly a first order Ogden model with a negative alpha value. And um, that's kind of a, a wonderful thing to do because if you were to explore the Ogden model, which I have done in the past, and um, you look at what the Ogden model behaves like in different loading modes, you can see that but picking alpha to be negative, you can get a very large spread between the biaxial and the uniaxial tension data. And that's exactly what's missing from the Aruda Boys H-chain model. So this is the trick or the insight. We, we add the first order Ogden model, we make alpha to be negative, and then we can calibrate such a model. And if I do that, I get predictions of this, what's shown here. So this is now my new model. Aruda Boys plus Ogden n equal to 1. It's a brand new model. I'm calling it the BAM model because BAM, look at the results. It looks really good. The error is 2.58%. It fixes the issues that we had with the Aruda Boys H-chain model and similar to what you would get with the Ghent model. So to summarize, it's easy to invent your hyperelastic model. You just have to pick components that, that you like to combine or come up with your own. In this case, Aruda Boys plus Ogden n equal to 1 gives me my new model, the BAM model. And I talk actually about this quickly in my book. So if you want to read a little bit more about it, you can check out my book. And it turns out now that the BAM model can be significantly more accurate than the Aruda Boys model. But it comes with a price. And the price is that it requires experimental data from more loading modes. The Aruda Boys model requires only tension data, for example. But this new model that is more accurate will require you to test your material in multiple loading modes, two, preferably three. And if you want to play with this new model, it's part of M calibration and PolyU mod from our company. If you have any questions, you can ask them below.